Okay, so in the first part of this uh, lesson, I actually showed you how you can apply the fade times from uh, this fade in, um, uh, from the fade column in the view times. But uh, in some cases, some users prefer to actually have a little bit of delay before the whole uh, time, uh, time offset is, is applied. So for this, I can show you uh, a little trick here using the, the delay window, but at the same time, uh, as far as I find out, is this can only apply if you're applying the delay from left to right or from right to left. I couldn't find how to do it center in or center out unless someone can actually write down in the co comments. Uh, but let me show you how to apply the timing from left to right or from right to left, adding also some extra delay time before the before the the whole offset is applied okay so first of all because magic you does all the calculations for me so instead of actually trying to figure out how many seconds of delay how many seconds of fade i need to apply for the fixtures i can actually uh, uh i can actually tell magic you to calculate for me how long is going to be the fading and delay time if i want to apply um, uh, the palette offset overlap from uh, offset from left to right within five seconds. For this, I just type five star enter. So it calculated for me that it will need about 0 0.25 seconds per fade per head. And then the delay is going to be on the first head zero seconds. And then the last one is going to be uh, four, four seconds 75. So if I want to apply say two seconds delay for the first head what i need to do is i basically need to click on that column and type in so instead of zero i'm going to say two seconds then i'm going to make the button through and instead of 475 i increase it by two seconds because i'm, I'm shifting everything by two seconds and i'll press as uh, 6.75 Five. I can leave my fade time as it is and I press enter. Now let's try to load our playback. One, two, and then the offset has been applied. Again, it's really, really nice trick, especially for those people that would like to add a little bit of extra touch. So, for example, you would like to, uh, you would like your fixtures to get into the certain position, and only after that you want the the color offset to be applied. So now here's the solution for you. Or you can, if you want to apply from the delay is going to be from right to left. Then what you need to do is you just need to invert the selection. So you're not going to see it here because it's going to still stick to 2 to 675, but you can actually invert it to say 6.75 through two seconds delay. So it's the other way around. You press enter. You're not going to see changing here, but it has been changed. Now, if you launch it, one, two, and then the delay after the two seconds delay, you'll see everything's been applied onto your color. Isn't it cool? I'm sure it is. So, um, so this is the way you can actually do the changes in uh, through the view queue window. But what if you actually would like to, uh, you, you actually using keypad a lot and you prefer to enter the values uh, with a different de delay and fade time right into the programmer, then the next part of the tutorial is for you.